The HAL is all set to roll out the Tejas Mark II or the medium weight fighter later this year. The new aircraft is scheduled to take to the air early in 2026. The Tejas Mark II will be a 4.5 generation fighter aircraft which is of the same generation as other advanced fighters such as the Rafale and the Eurofighter Typhoon. Bharat Shakti spoke to the project director of the Tejas Mark II who told us about what's new in the new aircraft. Thank you. And the LCA Infos Mark II is not Tejas, it is a completely new design structurally and systems wise also. All right. And it is a 4.5 plus generation aircraft. Like the Rafale or the Eurofighter. And like a Gripen hmm. and Rafale of the kind. And it, it is integrating as an advanced sensors onto that. Like IR, IRST and MAWS are the key sensors which are being augmented with the uh, LC Air Force Mark II. Right. And they have an internal RWR system is there as a part of this. Right. And whereas in Mark I, Mark I A, you have an external part for that. The another unique feature here is this aircraft is 17.5 ton all of weight aircraft carrying 6.5 ton weapon carrying capacity. That's quite a lot for an aircraft. Absolutely. So Mark 1 has got 3.5 ton and but uh, this particular thing has 6.5 ton. The range and endurance is quite high compared to Mark 1. They just compared to Tejas. Right. And uh, it is a range is almost like a 3000 kilometers, whereas Mark 1 one point internal fuel. In terms of range, 3,000 3, kilometers is the range. Just on internal fuel? With or with internal, internal, internal and external together. Okay. Because it's a 3,000 kilometers is the range. And the endurance is, Mark 1 endurance is 57 minutes of the mission endurance. But here is a more than 2 hours. On session. 120 one, 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 wow. minutes. That is a kind of a mission endurance of it. For a single engineer, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. And the unique features of Mark 2 here is, Keeping future BVR compact in mind by design, we are catering eight BVR missiles can be carried simultaneously. So I see two uh, dual launcher of the yes, Astra missile are, there. All other things like that, we have multiple stations with which we will be in a position to carry the BVR missiles of more than eight. All right, more than eight. We are uh, eight to ten. We are targeting. That is what it is now. All Coming right. back to the station capacity. But just one small thing, so in terms of uh, BVR combat, are we also looking at ways of reducing frontal RCS? Yes, it is not like a Mark 1. Mark 1 has got some X RCS, it is a one fourth of the X. Oh, it is a, a RCS point of view also, by design we have taken care of it. So, so maintenance still there, not absolutely. Right. And maintainability by design we have addressed. The rate of production, tomorrow to cater for almost like a 25 aircraft per annum. So it is a highly modular. There are something like a, we have a five models in Mark 1 aircraft. Here it is almost like a 40 models are there. Front you have got a nine models, sub models, and center fuselage you have got a nine models. You have got a red fuselage, you have got a nine models. In all other things you have made such a way that it is, it is easily assemblable okay. by design. And we have talked about the maintainability. And another import, important thing is, thunder of time we have drastically reduced by design. We are taken care such a way that all the drawings will go through the startup analysis, DMU, all other things, so that your 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 aircraft on ground will be drastically reduced by reducing your thunder on types. And maintainability we have improved so that aircraft will be quickly turned around. Okay. And we are also bringing up IVHM onto this particular thing. Pardon me? We are we have a IVHM. Okay. So integrated vehicle health management system. All right. So basically, so, yeah, you can predict when likely this life is getting over, so that we can advance action can be taken on the replacement of the LRUs and all other things. So a lot of unique features we brought into this particular thing. And the, in terms of gene, it is I, the Mark One has got eight G, but if you need to go up to nine G. Okay, like most Western fighters. We also got a chance to give the simulator of the upcoming fighter a spin. So viewers, this is what the Tejas Mark II's cockpit will look like. In a couple of years, the test pilot would be flying in a cockpit which would look very similar to this, if not exactly this. And today, we are going to take the Tejas Mark II's simulator for a ride. Tejas Mark II will enhance the fighting capabilities of the Indian Air Force. It is also playing an important role in the development of the advanced medium combat aircraft, India's next generation fighter aircraft.
the Tejas Mark II is truly going to take the domestic weapons platform manufacturing capability of the country to the next level. Our borders, a symbol of strength, guarded by our brave warriors. As the proverb goes, armor strengthens the greatest warrior. A1's fences are that armor for the armed forces. A1 Fence delivers quality in every inch. Products, services, and insights. Providing solutions, tackling every challenge in any terrain or condition. A1 Fence, securing our borders silently.